A bacteria culture initially contains 40 bacteria and doubles every half hour. Route answers to the nearest whole number. We want to find the size of the bacterial population after 20 minutes, and then the size after three hours. To begin, we need the time to be in the same units. Notice the doubling time is half an hour, and then we want the population after 20 minutes and three hours. Let's use time in minutes, which means from the given information, we will use time t equals 30 minutes. And now to find an equation that models a situation, looking at our notes below, we can use an exponential equation in base e or base b, where base b is one plus the growth rate. In this example, we'll be using the equation with base e, meaning the equation a equals a sub zero times e to the power of kt, where a sub zero is the initial amount, a is the amount after time t, k is the continuous growth rate, and t is time, in our case, in minutes. Going back to the given information, we know that a sub zero is 40 bacteria, the initial population, and because the culture doubles in size every 30 minutes, we know a, the amount after time t, is 40 times two or 80 bacteria. This information will allow us to determine k. Once we determine k, we can write our exponential equation to answer the two questions. So to set up our equation, a is equal to 80, equals a sub zero, which is 40, times e raised to the power of kt, or k times 30, which we can write as 30k. Now we need to solve for k. First step, we divide both sides by 40. Notice when we divide both sides by 40, the left side is now two, giving us two equals e raised to the power of 30k. Notice we have two on the left because we're using 30 minutes for the time, which is the doubling time which means to find k, since we have the doubling time, we could have used a sub zero equals one and a equals two. As long as a is twice the amount of a sub zero, we can determine the value of k. And now to solve the exponential equation, we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation, which gives us natural log two equals natural log of e raised to the power of 30 k. And now we'll apply the power property of logs on the right which gives us natural log two equals 30k times natural log e. Natural log e is equal to one, and therefore the equation simplifies to natural log two equals 30k. And to solve for k, we divide both sides by 30, which means the exact value of k, the continuous growth rate, is natural log two divided by 30, but let's also get a decimal approximation for k. Going to the calculator, I'm using the Desmos Scientific Calculator. We begin by pressing the Functions tab, click Natural Log, go back to the Main tab, two, close parenthesis, divided by 30, enter. We need to be careful when rounding k. We should include quite a few decimal places to reduce the margin of error. So using an approximation for k, we would use something like 0 0.023105. Now that we know k, the exponential equation with base e that models the given situation using the exact value of k is a equals 40, the initial amount, times e raise the power of kt, which, which would be natural log two divided by 30t. Or using the approximation for k, we have a equals 40 times e raised to the power of 0.023105t. And now to answer the first question, what is the size of the bacterial population after 20 minutes? We need to find a of 20 or substitute 20 for t. This gives us a equals 40 times e raised to the power of natural log two divided by 30 times 20 as the exponent. And we could simplify this product for the exponent, but either way we'll have to use the calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this form. But let's also show the equation with the approximate value of k, and then we'll show on the calculator the results are very close. Using the approximate value of k, we have a equals 
40 times e raised to the power of 0 0.023105 times 20. Remember, we are told to round to the nearest whole number. So going back to the calculator, we enter 40, and then e is going to be under functions. Here we have e to the x as well as just e. Because we have e to a power, we can click on e to the x, go back to the main tab. To make sure the product is in the exponent position, we'll put the exponent in parentheses. So we have open parenthesis, functions, natural log, main, two, close parenthesis, divided by 30, right arrow, times 20, and enter. The nearest whole number, or nearest bacteria, A is approximately 63. Let's show we get almost the same result using the approximate value of K, which would be 40 e to the power of open parenthesis 0 0.023105 times 20 close parenthesis and we can see we don't get the exact same result but we do when rounding to the nearest whole number a is approximately 63 so for the first question the bacterial population under 20 minutes is approximately 63 bacteria. And notice this does make sense because the doubling time is 30 minutes. And for this first question, the time is 20 minutes. The population should be less than 80. And now for the second question, the time is three hours. Each hour is 60 minutes. And therefore three hours gives us a time t of 3 times 60 minutes, or 180 minutes. So we have A equals 40 times E raised to the power of natural log 2 divided by 30 times 180. Or using the decimal approximation for K, we have A equals 40 times E raised to the power of 0 0.023105 times 180. Notice here on the left, Notice on the left, 180 divided by 30 is equal to 6. So we could write this as natural log 2 times 6 if we wanted to. Going back to the calculator, we can use our previous entries and replace 20 with 180. So going back up to this line here, we can click the delete button twice, enter 180, enter. And then we can also go down to where we have the approximate value of k and change 20 to 180. Again, notice the values are close. When running to the nearest whole number, both give a result of 2,560, which is the approximate bacterial population after three hours or 180 minutes. I hope you found this helpful.